Hello and welcome to WP Living. In this video, I'd like to talk a little bit about a plugin, a WordPress plugin that I've recently started to use and I really like it. The plugin allows you to add social sharing buttons to your WordPress blog or website. I'll get into the specifics of the plugin in a minute, but first of all, let me just start by talking about this website that I'm on right now. This is GaryVaynerchuk.com. If you don't know who Gary Vaynerchuk is, stop this video, go check out his website, and more specifically, go check out his YouTube videos. Gary is a New York-based entrepreneur and the CEO of a leading media company and he champions social media. So the reason I'm on this site is not only because Gary is a great inspiration for me um, and I think you should go check out his stuff too, that's the one thing, but more for this video is, well, if I'm going to talk about social sharing buttons, why not start by looking at a website uh, by an expert in the field and see how he does it for his site. And that's what I want to do very quickly right now. So I'm going to scroll down to the latest blog post on his website. Here it is. Click on that. And here you can see exactly what I mean by these social sharing buttons right here integrated onto the left hand side in vertical style. You've got the Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest buttons, and then uh, other share buttons. You, If you like this content, the idea is very simple. You click one of the icons, let's say Twitter, up pops a little screen. If you're connected to your Twitter account, then you can just tweet this straight away. So it's a way of sharing, socially sharing your content. Now that's exactly the type of thing I wanted, but I wanted one that appeared just on the left hand side, right at the side of my blog. And there are a number of WordPress plugins that can do this. This is a very common feature across all websites today. Nothing new about this. But finding something that was really easy to install, easy to use, and really performed well, didn't slow my site down, wasn't clunky. Now that was more difficult. So what I started out by doing was going to WordPress.org, to the plugins repository. I typed in social sharing buttons. I was using my demo website and I just went through them. I installed, tested, tried them out one by one. And I really couldn't find anything that was, you know, really satisfactory. The one that came close was called Sumo, Sumo Me. Let's just type that in, Sumo Me. This is it here. Free tools to grow your email list, social sharing and analytics. So it's a plugin that does several things, but it has social sharing buttons. Uh, an example of Sumo Me in action is here on wpin.me. This is a great WordPress related blog. If you don't know it, go check it out. And you can see right here, here are the buttons. This is the Sumo Me plugin at work on a WordPress blog. And it really does what I wanted, except for the fact it's a free plugin, except for the fact that if you want special features, it becomes a premium plugin. You have to buy the premium upgrade. And also, you're stuck with having the Sumo Me logo on the free version always at the bottom here. And notice on the right side this subtle little bar, this little icon. Even with the premium version, that is there. With the premium one on this side, it's gone. But this little thing at the top is still there. And that kind of, okay, it's really nitpicking, but it kind of annoyed me. I don't want, if I'm going to pay for a premium plugin, I don't want the company's branding on my site. So that's what led me to this plugin. And it's called Monarch Social Media Sharing. And it's by Elegant Themes. Now, Elegant Themes, if you don't know them, they're most known for their WordPress themes, and in particular for their Divi theme, which has been hugely successful. And if you're looking to start a new website or blog, you could you could do a lot worse than use the Divi theme. It's really great drag and drop style thing. Now, what I liked about Elegant Themes is they really get the um, user interface on their themes and on their plugins. The UI design is second to none. And that's true, in fact, for the Monarch social sharing plugin. Problem with this is it's not free, it is premium. And not only that is to buy it, you have to buy one of their packages. Let me just click on the presentation page. Here we are. We'll come to this in a minute. But if you want to buy this plugin, you have to join the Elegant Themes Club. 
and you have three price plans. In fact, you actually have to take the developer package, which includes access to all the themes, but also all the plugins and support for a year. And it's $89 at the moment. Or if you want lifetime access, $249. Quite a lot of money to shell out for a plugin. For me, as it happens, I like their WordPress themes. I use Divi a lot in different projects, so it made sense to buy the package so I can access the themes, download all of those, and the plugins. But for someone just looking for the plugin, well, this might not be the solution for you. Anyhow, let's go back to this. What I want to do for the last part of this video is actually show you on my demo site the installation of the plugin, how it works, the admin side, why I really like it. So let's get into that right now. Okay, so here I am on the dashboard of my demo site. Just to show you the front end of the site, this is what it looks like. I'm using the default 2016 WordPress theme and I've got some dummy content here. That's what it's, so let's add the plugin to this site. Okay, I'm gonna go to plugins, add new. I'm gonna upload the plugin, choose the file, and here it is, monarch.zip. I'm going to open that. Install now. And then activate the plugin. And then we're going to get a couple of warning messages at the top. Due to changes in Facebook's API, Monarch must be authorized to obtain follow and share counts from Facebook. So we need to get an app ID from Facebook and also from YouTube. And there are tutorials on how to do that. So this is about integrating YouTube and Facebook counts, share counts within the buttons. If you want to do that, you have to connect, uh, get an app ID or an API key for both of those social media sites. Okay, anyway, so we've installed Monarch and in order to actually set it up, we're going to go to tools and then you can see now there's Monarch settings. Let's click on that. Uh, let's hide these notices at the top. I'm not really worried about that for now. And now you can see the admin panel for the Monarch plugin. At the moment, nothing is happening on my test site. You have to configure the plugin, but it's very straightforward. First of all, what I like about uh, Elegant Themes work, look at the attention to detail. Look how smooth the whole admin panel is. It really just looks very professional and very intuitive. Um, so there's explanations, they're very simple, everything is sort of drag and drop and what you see is what you get and I really like that user interface. Okay, so let's do what I want to do here is install the social sharing buttons as a sidebar but you can see you could do it in line in the text of your blog post. You could have it as a pop-up at the top of the site uh, on the main screen of the site so it will pop up in the, on the screen. You can fly it in in the corner, left or right, or bottom in the middle. Uh, or you can have it as media, and we'll see that in a minute too. But I'm going to go with sidebar for the moment. So I'm going to select that. There it is, green. And now I'm going to add some networks. Which social media services do I want to share to? I'm going to add Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Let's add Pinterest and why not LinkedIn, and then apply. Right, so those are the ones I'm gonna go with now. I could add my Twitter username, which is WP Living. So when people share tweets of my content, they will also at tweet me at WP Living. So that's a nice way for people to find out my Twitter account. Save changes. Now the next option, set of options you can see is is depending on the location, sidebar, inline, pop-up, fly-in, on media. That's It's very simple. I've gone for sidebar, so let's configure the sidebar. First of all, choose the style of the icon. Uh, like this, like this. Each one has a little bit of a different style, different um, kind of rollover action. So I'm going to go with the default one. Choose the shape of the icons, square, rounded, or circle. I'm going to go with the square. Then the display settings, orientation, left or right. I'm going to go with left side of the website. Do we want an animation? Uh, let's say fade in. I'm going to fade in the buttons, okay? Display share counts. At the moment, no. Display total shares. I'm not going to put that either. Display all networks. That's a little 
add-on at the bottom of the button list that allows a user to click on all the buttons. So let's add that. Spacing between the buttons? No, let's put them all together like this, all seamless. Hide on mobile devices? Yes, let's hide them on mobile devices for now because they take up quite a bit of real estate on mobile screens. Color settings? I'm going to use the default colors. Post type settings? So this is where do you want the buttons to show up? Let's put them on the home page, on blog posts, and on blog pages, all three. I'm going to save the changes, and that should be it. Let's go back to my test site, refresh the page, and voila! Here they are on the left-hand side. And you can see the ones I chose, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, and in um, LinkedIn. And then this gray button, which basically allows you to access all the different social media sites. Isn't that pretty cool? And that's it. It's that simple to set up this sidebar option. Now let's try another configuration, a slightly different location. Let's let's actually get rid of the sidebar and let's try the fly-in one here. This is quite interesting. I like this quite a bit. Let's save the changes. Let's go to fly-in. Choose Again, choose the icon style. I'm going to go with the default one here. Choose the shape. Let's go for the rounded one here. Title. Let's keep share this, but we could change that to anything. And the message, share this post with your friends. Okay, let's keep that. Choose a location. Let's go for bottom right this time, but you could go for bottom left. Icon alignment. Let's keep them aligned on the left. Number of columns. Let's go for two. Intro animation. Let's again go for fade in. Trigger after time delay. No, let's not go for that. Trigger after inactivity. No, let's not go for that. Trigger at the bottom of the post. Yes. So when someone scrolls down to the bottom of the site, this pop-up will show. Trigger after commenting, scrolling, purchasing. So you can see there are a lot of options on how to trigger this pop-up. Display once per session or, or keep displaying as someone renews the page. Display share counts, no. Display total shares, no. I'm going to leave that for now. Display network names, yes. That will show Twitter, Facebook, the actual names on the icons. And again, let's choose the All Networks button. Remove spacing, let's leave that. Hide on mobile devices, OK. Color settings, default. And again, I'm going to put it Home, Post, and Page. Save the changes. So let's refresh my home page. So this, the left side has gone, as you can imagine. If I scroll down, there it is. The plugin, the little pop-up comes up at the end. And here are the sharing options, same as before. And the user can click off, delete it if they don't want it. That's pretty cool, right? Very slick, very easy to use. Let's try one more location, uh, not fly in. This time, let's go for media, save and on media. So um, I'm going to go for this time the square, icon align left, number of columns two, display network names, yes, out uh, text color, let's go for dark, display all networks, yes, post, let's keep it on post for now, save that, refresh my blog, and click on a single post. Uh, let's, we need sorry, we need some media for it to work, of course. So let's click on an image post. This one. So this will show up on videos or images, basically. So look. So when someone rolls over the media, the buttons pop up. There you are, and they can share again this blog post. Isn't that cool? And it works on videos. It overlays on videos too. It's pretty neat. That's what they mean by media. And you can play around with the configuration as you like. And that's as simple as it gets, really. Um, social follow, add and rearrange any combination of social networks below. You can define the network label. So here's where you can add other networks. And then general settings, Facebook API, um, and then custom CSS if you want to. It's That's it. And that's, in a nutshell, the Monarch social sharing plugin. Really slick. Oh, one more feature at the top here. You can see these icons. This is pretty cool. You can see stats for all your social sharing buttons. 
so multiple locations or the individual locations so you can see how what the activity is past seven days 30 days 12 months all time stats shares likes follow activity and then on this button you can import your settings or export your settings that's pretty cool so if you have multiple websites running on wordpress and you want to export the same settings and import them into another site you can do that with this feature and then finally enable updates you can get automatic updates by entering your username and api key from your elegant themes account all right that's it the social sharing buttons from elegant themes it's called monarch check it out highly recommend it very simple to use thanks for watching catch you next time bye bye